Edvard Munch was a very famous expressionist painter from Norway who had anything but a normal childhood background. Let me explain. To begin, Munch lost his mom to tuberculosis when he was only five years old. His dad, who happened to be a medical doctor in the army, was left to raise five kids on his own, which was definitely not easy. Then, just a few short years after, Munch lost his favorite sister, Joanne, to the same dreadful disease. Terrible. To make things worse, Munch was almost always sick as a kid. Often, during the winters, he would miss lots of school, simply because he was too sick to attend. His father also loved to tell Munch scary stories right before bedtime. Not your normal bedtime routine, right? Seriously, why would you do that? Taking all these things into consideration, let's take a look at the screen painting. Actually, a better translation of the original title would be The Scream of Nature. One day, Munch and a couple of friends decided to go for a walk along the water's edge. Any idea what time of day it is? Yep, you're right. It's during sunset. Have any of you ever been near water at sunset? If so, have you ever seen the colors in the sky? Yeah, you see these yellows, yellow oranges, and reds. Well, Munch saw those two, but this time his eyes saw something else. To Munch, these colors reminded him of blood. So if you've ever been by the water during a sunset, where do you also see these colors from the sky? That's right, in the water. Well, Munch sees these two, but again, he sees something totally different this time. He looks in the water and sees blood again. Check out the background of this painting. Do you see these two figures in the background? Yep, those are Munch's friends. Are they with him? Nope, and here's why. When Munch saw these colors, both in the sky and the water, he was so scared. Have you ever been scared before? Yeah, and have you ever been so scared that you can't even move? That's exactly what is happening here. So Munch is standing here in the middle of the boardwalk, frozen and scared. But look at his hands, where are they? Yep, on his ears. The reason why is after seeing the blood in the sky and the blood in the water, all of a sudden Munch said he felt as if nature was screaming at him. Ah! If you hear something so scary, what is the first thing you're going to do? Put your hands on your ears. Now that you understand what Munch was seeing and that he felt as though nature was screaming at him, does this seem like something that could really happen? Do you think Munch felt like he was not on this planet? Nope, he sure didn't which is probably why he painted himself almost looking like an alien or even mummy-like. I'm guessing all those scary stories at bedtime wasn't such a good idea, was it? Let's take a look at what we're gonna need to make this project. The first thing we're gonna need is some paper. Let's not use anything too big, um, so that way we can try to get this finished. The next thing we're gonna need is a pencil and a ruler since we need to draw some straight lines. The next thing you're gonna need, let's print off something to look at. Um, I found this online, was able to find it pretty quick. You don't have to have it in color, but it's gonna really help to be able to see it since we are gonna be using oil pastels for this project. Reason being, I want this to look as much like an oil painting as possible. And since these things are packed with so much oil, they're gonna be perfect for what we're gonna do. Let's get started. How many guys know what a light bulb looks like? Boom. All right, let's start with the head. Let's start with what's closest to us and work from the background. Now, you could go ahead and do the background first, but I'm gonna start off with his head because I need to know about where, where it's at. So I honestly start off with just making a simple circle, and then I'm gonna overlap it with an oval. Literally, I think of his head as the shape of a light bulb. And then I'm just going to trace around it, those two shapes. Ta-da! Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and use some simple ovals for his arms, some ovals for his head, and I'm just gonna kind of sway down his body in kind of a, a rectangle. I've already got his mouth working here, and his eyes are crazy. Hands contouring just a little bit around there. Bam. Remember, this does not need to look just like it. We're just kind of playing. Next, I'm gonna use a ruler for the boardwalk because it's just gonna be much easier. I'm gonna make a mark down here where I think the, um, 
the big rail goes on and off the paper. Next thing I'm gonna sketch lightly in case I mess up, right? And start putting in some of these lines. I see three rails. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and make all three of these lines and I'll create the others to give it that 3D depth so it actually looks like a piece of wood in a bit. And one comes off the page here. I'm telling you, having something to look at is really, really, really helpful, especially with a project like this. Next thing I'm gonna do, and I'll come back and kind of refine this, we talked about the sky, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put in that horizon line. Real simple, doesn't need to look just like it, almost looks like a wave. Next thing I'm gonna do, I see this little lake back here where we were talking about the two little boats back there. So I'm gonna put that in, and it looks as though this is like this big current kind of coming right at them. Again, some smooth, quick lines for that. And just for fun, I'm gonna put Real simple, these two little, they just barely can just see the silhouette of them. These two little sailboats, all right? That should get us started. Don't try to over sketch it because we're gonna cover most of it up with oil pastel. To give you a quick idea, because I want you to really take it from here, what I'm gonna do to use these oil pastels is really think of them like I'm painting them with some, some really, really thick oil paint. So first thing I'm gonna do is lay down some orange and you can hear and you can see, I am putting this stuff on thick. I'm gonna work from there into some of this red orange. Now if you notice, I'm not blending them together yet, am I? We're gonna wait. Next thing I'm gonna do is this red, and I waited to use the red last because, and we'll know that as well with the darker colors when we get into using black, the darker the color, the stronger it is, right? So if I want to come back and go over that color later, it's not gonna be that easy. So I'm gonna be pretty careful with the dark colors. Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in that yellow wherever I see white now. And you can already tell with these oil pastels, it's what I love, the difference between these and crowns, the minute I start overlaying the color, it's gonna start blending. You might wanna find some place or put something underneath your paper because we're going edge to edge with this baby. So don't be afraid to accidentally get it off the paper. Next thing I'm gonna do, I may come in with some white later, but the first thing I'm gonna do, taking my finger and I'm going to blend those colors in the direction that I see the lines going. Love oil pastels. Be careful, right? It's coming off on my finger, which is okay. It's gonna do that. The thing you need to be careful about is if you keep, keep pushing and going, going over, all of a sudden, all the color's gone. And we want these colors to be vivid and bright. I think you guys have a basic idea. Let's go ahead and start sketching this out and let's get the oil pastels out.
let these guys finish up. Be sure to finish the whole picture. I'm really excited to see what you create. Until next time, remember, be creative, be innovative, and be outrageous. We would love to see what you create. Share your projects with us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook by using hashtag OutrageousNate.